Hi guys, my name is Jerome and today we are going to download and install Bootstrap locally in our computer. Alright, so the advantage is even if we are offline and have no internet, we will still be able to uh, work on our project that has Bootstrap. Okay, so uh, let me just switch over to one of my virtual machine that has Windows 10 installed. It's right over here and hold on. Alright, so this is, uh, yeah, let me just launch my browser and type bootstrap from the URL and we get this link, alright? So I'm going to click on that, so get bootstrap.com. So yeah, bootstrap is actually made by Twitter, alright, the, the social media site. And yeah, right over here you see get started and download button. We want to download it, so I'm going to click this. And uh, we have the first button here. It says compile CSS and JavaScript, All right? So you have here download uh, download button. Uh, it includes the minified CSS, minified JavaScript, as well as the compiled one, All right? So I'm going to click on download, and uh, we got it right over here from the lower left-hand corner of our screen. I'm going to right-click on it, show in folder, okay? And now we get this file, okay, right over here. Let me just refresh this window. Okay, so I'm going to right-click this file so that we can extract it because as you, as you can as you can see, this is a zip file, so it is a compressed file. So I'm going to right-click on it. Uh, I'm going to uh, select seven zip. All right, I'm going to extract the file. So um, maybe you're using WinRAR or you know whatever it is that uh, file extractor you're using. That's fine, as long as you can extract it. Alright, so I'm now going, we're now going to check what is inside this folder. Alright, so now there you have it. So you have your CSS and JavaScript file. Alright, so you have everything. Yeah, if you wanted to use the minified version, you, 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 you only need this file. If you wanted the non-minified version, you can go ahead and select this file. So uh, let's go ahead and create a project, a very simple one, so that we can, I can show you uh, everything, alright? So let me just uh, launch Visual Studio Code and we are going to create a project. So I'm just going to put it here in our desktop. I'm going to name the project, how about um, a sample uh, website, all right? So I'm going to click on that and select folder. And of course, we are going to create our uh, HTML file, okay? So I'm gonna say uh, index.html and I'm going to start working here. So now we need to um, integrate our downloaded bootstrap files in our new project, okay? So what we can do is actually we can just copy everything here. I'm going to right click on that and copy and I'm going to go to my desktop where we have created our project which is right over here. As you can see, you see the file that we have just created index.html file. So I'm going to paste here the files from uh, Bootstrap, okay? So we got CSS and JavaScript. So uh, in the CSS folder, we see that there is a file called bootstrap.css. That's the file that we're going to use, all right? So I'm going to link it right over here. So from the href attribute, I'm going to navigate to CSS and then bootstrap dot CSS, okay? And of course, uh, we need JavaScript as well. So from here, you see that there's a bootstrap dot JS, okay? So let me just go ahead and link that file right over here using the script tag, okay, source, and navigate to JS folder, and then bootstrap dot uh, JS, all right? So let me just go ahead and uh, run this program. Uh, I'm going to right click on it and open with Live Server. Uh, Live Server is a plugged in for uh, Visual Studio Code that will allow you to preview your project, all right, as if you have a local web server running in your computer, all right? So right now you don't see anything. So let me just uh, put here an H1. I'm gonna type, um, I'm gonna type bootstrap. All right, as you can see, it's already formatted. Let me just type here a paragraph. I'll just say lor uh, lorem uh, times 10. 
okay and save our work now we have some text let me just put another title maybe h2 okay another title and let's put some paragraph let's say lorem times let's say 100 so that we'll have a lot of text all right so it's right over here so um the, uh, as you can see it's already working because if we are going to uh, delete this link maybe we'll just comment that out as well as this one right over here uh, you will see this is the default uh, C I mean HTML uh, styling all right with bootstrap if we will go ahead and uncomment the link to our bootstrap file now you see that there are some styling so you can now go ahead maybe you can type there is a bootstrap class called container all right if we are going to wrap everything with a container and you will see that there's already like a space from here all right so uh, that's how easy it is to download and install bootstrap locally in our computer so you can now go ahead and take advantage of all the um, bootstrap uh, components for example for navbar I'm going to go ahead and visit this page and copy this example and I'm going to paste it right over here in our project save that and let's see the preview now we have uh, a navigation bar instantly because of bootstrap all right so of course let's say uh, let's use a bootstrap file called um, let's say a row okay div that row let's just copy the closing tag and paste it somewhere here all right so you know this you can explore bootstrap you can just visit the site so row is just another bootstrap class to make sure that this one is in a row all right for for the uh, uh, for for the HTML elements all right so what we're going to do is we are going to create another bootstrap uh, file here called I mean bootstrap class okay column MD6 I'm going to put the closing div tag right over here okay and after that I'm going to create another uh, column MD6 uh, I'm going to create a bootstrap table here so bootstrap table is a class of table and of course HTML table has a header or table head and a T body all right for the T head you got T TR for table row and the table heading for example name here maybe address here maybe um, um role all right just an example for the t body i'm going to type here tr all right and for table data name i'll just type my name and for address i'll just say uh, uh, philippines and for role let's say uh, it uh, uh, help desk i don't know maybe programmer all right all right so just just an example so let me just let's just hit check and refresh our browser now you will see uh, that the uh, bootstrap table is taking place right over here so in fact if you're going to uh, uh, if, you're, if you're going to copy and paste this so that you will have multiple data so for example this one is Elon Musk all right and he lives in Texas um, uh, space engineer right and one let's say bill gates and i don't know he lives in us right <laughs> and let's say programmer all right so just save that and uh, preview our work you will see that it's taking place right over here the use of the bootstrap uh, call md6 is really just to divide you know this section right here and this section right here all right so and this one is automatically responsive but anyway just beside the point the, the point of this video is really just how to un, uh, download and install a uh, bootstrap locally in our computer and um, there you have it guys i hope that 
uh, this has been informative for you and thank you for watching bye now